been raining all week so far. And it looks like some more is coming in this weekend. Hey guys, Jeffy the Adventurer here. In this week's video, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the oldest building in Stockton, California, which is on the historical landmarks list. And I'm talking about the Old Sperry Flour Mill Company, and we're starting right now. Since its early days, this building changed quite a bit. It's even home to the Channel 3 News Team. The owners of this building offer a superior on-site maintenance and management for their tenants. Constructed in 1875, was built as the Sperry Flour Mill Warehouse. This two-story warehouse is the oldest intact building on the banks of the Stockton Channel. This building is a City of Stockton Historic Landmark. As you walk in, you are welcomed into the historic waterfront warehouse and it gives a brief little description and history about this building. Also, gives the business hours. Also lets you know that they have wheelchair access for the upstairs restrooms. They have a little directory right here, a little map of the layout of the building. They are also reminding you that you are always being watched. This is the building where they made flour for years. This photo right here, courtesy of the Hagen Museum, circa 1910. We are currently inside that building. Look at how different this building looks modern day. They even have cool little relics in this building. Right here is one of the flour mixers that they would mix the flour in. They even have an anvil. Never seen a real life anvil. This is what I love about this building. <laughs> They have all of these old historic street lights all throughout this building. Well, at least right here. It's pretty cool that they preserve these. These little stores right here, I know, are not the original layout of this building. Years ago, when it was a flour mill, these were not here. All of this was indeed opened up. I can imagine back in the day it was pretty massive. If you can see how high this building is. And it's only two stories. Here's one of the scales right here that they would use to weigh the flour. I think it still works. I think it still weighs things. I've seen this photo online countless of times. Right here is a picture, an old picture of the Stockton waterfront. And if you can see, we are right there in that building. And right behind the elevator, for some odd reason, they have an old gas pump from a gas station. In this photo, they're actually in front of this building that we are in right here. And this is a part of the Sperry Mill Fleet. And these guys right here worked for this company. They have quite a bit 
of insurance companies in this place too. So if you ever need insurance on a vehicle, this is the place to go right here. Besides of all these insurance places, they even have a barber shop right there inside this building. And again, you are being watched. And even if you're the type of going to a bar, they even have a bar and grill. Shows you how long I've been in this place right here. This spot is vacant. I used to go there growing up. Well, not really growing up, but when I was 18, back in 2005, I used to go there quite a bit and they had some awesome food. Can't remember the name of the restaurant that was in that spot though. So they have a series of pictures right here for over the years. It's pretty cool. This right here is the waterfront, a total community plan. This is the plans for the Stockton waterfront. It's what it looked like in the 1920s right here. Then here's what it looked like in 1979. Then again, if you look over here in 1981, the Crosstown Freeway. It's pretty interesting. One of the old vehicles right here. Not sure exactly what it was used for. Not even sure if this is an exact vehicle or if it's just a replica, but I think it's pretty cool. They should have it more in the open instead of underneath of these stairs right here. Right here is where they would make the flower in that bowl I showed you earlier is where they would prepare the flower. How cool would it be to travel back into time to actually see this place in all of its glory? Would be awesome. Now it's time we capture this place from the second floor bird's eye view. Ever wanting to go to beauty school or become a cosmetologist? This place right here is the place to go. It's called Inspire. I guess it's so you can be inspired to do hair, I guess? Another insurance company. Man, this place is packed with insurance companies. I am doing it. Living the dream up here. It's really high. Me and heights do not mix. You can see how high this is. And the ceiling is just as bad. I have a fear of tall, tall buildings, so I can't believe I'm doing this. Facing my fears. Who knew that the warehouse has a public library in it? This is like the smallest library ever. Shh. No talking. Be quiet while in the library. If you're always had been wondering where the Greater Stockton Chamber of Commerce building is, inside the old Sperry Flour Mill warehouse on the second floor. Remember that picture I showed you guys earlier? They actually painted it on this building right here, on the wall, on the second floor. This building sure does look different back in its heyday. This is an old photo from 1892 of this very building that we are in. Here's another old photo of the Stockton Channel and Weber Point, 1895, courtesy of the Hagen Museum. This picture is pretty awesome. 
if you see right here, it's Julia Weber's house, which is daughter to the Stockton founder, Captain Charles M. Weber. This picture is amazing. You can actually visit Julia Weber's house to this day in Lodi, California. It's on the borderline of Stockton and Lodi, down Mickey Grove Road. In Mickey Grove Regional Park, they have the whole entire house. Now you cannot go inside the house, but they are working on it, refurbishing it, so they can open it up to the public. And they also have the founder of Stockton's house, Captain Charles M. Weber. His, well, not the whole house, but a part of the house is in there. Yeah, I did a video on that, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it in one of the cards up above. And that's the building that we are currently in right now. And over there is the county courthouse. Well, used to be the county courthouse. This one's looking west from the courthouse circa 1910. Also courtesy of the Hagen Museum. It's pretty awesome. Look at all of these old buildings that are, well, besides this one, no longer there. Here's the Capitol Mills Sperry Flower Company right there. Next to it, also owned by Sperry. And after this tour of this place, I am going to throw a bonus building in this video, which is also a part of the Sperry Flower Company which is their administration office, which is currently closed. Going back down to the very first floor. They even have a little plaque outside given the, um, the construction years and a little bit of the history of this building. Right over here beneath the waterfall, right here, the water fountain, they have, they preserved some old docks. Yes, that's right, this right here, this whole entire thing right here was actually covered in water. And they would dock their boats right up here, right up to the flour mill and if you can see where I'm currently standing there's the uh, waterfront right there that's the Delta there's the Stockton Arena in the background and the uh, parking structure to the Stockton Arena if you look over here I'm right behind the Sperry Mill alongside this building not sure if this is a, a part of the old Sperry Mill or what, but leave it down in the comment section down below what this building was. Was it a part of the Sperry Mill or was it used for something else? The water levels are up high thanks to the rain. You can see in the far distance right there is, you guessed it, the Hotel Stockton, which is now apartments. In the back side of the uh, old Sperry Mill right here, who knew that there's a parking lot back here? I never did. And this is also how you access the Stockton Marina office. It's through the back right here. Right through these doors. So just right down the street from where I were at the Sperry Flour Mill Warehouse. Over here right across the street was the administration office for the Sperry Flour Company. Right down the street from the warehouse. So this building right here is actually vacant currently available for sale 
the structure once housed the general business's office of the second largest flour milling operation in California. In addition to this building matching the original Victorian commercial architecture was completed in 1917. Sperry and Company was founded in Stockton in 1852. This is on the Stockton historical landmark list number three. After doing a bit of research online, I found out that this building is actually built in 1888. It was not completed until 1917. The front half of the building, which I just showed you guys from across the street, was built first in 1888. Then the back half of this building was later on added in 1917. If you can see, this is the front half right here. This was built in 1888. This is the back half right here, right down the middle right there. That, on that way was the whole entire building. Then in 1917, this part right here was added on. This place is currently left abandoned. Like I said before, it's currently for sale. That would be awesome if someone bought it and opened it as a Sperry Flour Mill Museum. How cool would that be? That's going to wrap things up for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video of the tour of the old Sperry Mill Flour Company and a look-see of the exterior of the old abandoned administration office. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for future updates and take it a step further ring that notification bell if you will see you guys next week in the next video